Hi everybody! Today's project will be with scrap yarn. First we will cast the machine. One in the front, one in the back. For the first row. Don't, uh, don't check the number on the machine. It's not working properly today. Put that in the yarn feeder like this. And I will crank the machine. The first row sometimes get really not comfortable, but it will be <laughs> okay after. There, woohoo! So I decided to do some project with this thing yarn that I have left from other project. So, oh, I have something there, but. I won't bother it at the end, I will fix that. You won't, you won't see it. So I did 65 row, and now I will remove it from the machine. I will put my yarn like this and cut it so that way I'm, I'm sure that I have enough to remove every stitches from the machine. Turn it like this and then remove it one by one. with a double knot One. two stretch my work like I always do and do the same thing the other side pull the string and remember at the beginning I lost one stitches, but I will hide it now. I pull on it. And I will grab it. So it won't give me any trouble in the future. So that's it, it's fixed. Sometimes it's easy. When you got drop stitch at the beginning of your work. And the one. Put that aside for now. I got my my two tube. Now it's time. That's that's one and two leftover yarn. That's why it's not the same cutter. I for the head, I use some leftover yarn again. So pale color. If you have pink or uh, yellow, it will be fine too. So I cast on my machine, one in, a in the front, one in the back, open the yarn feeder, and start. Don't check the number because the counter is, is not working properly lately, so I have to put a new one soon. Be careful with your crank. There. did 35 row for the head now it's time to cut the yarn 
and remove it. Crank a little bit to remove all the stitches from the machine. So one by one I remove it. side for now with the leftover yarn part four one I will do a hat open it and keep printing I'll count it. Start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Five, I will cut it and remove it from the machine again. apart for my hat so I will close it I have a, a long one here don't worry about it I will show you how to fix it after when you got long one like this huh? you twist it together and put it inside nothing left and for this part I will not close it now yet because I have to attach it on the head at the end okay so now I will go and grab those two. Make sure it's straight, not twisted. Like this one is twist. it like this the same same size like this I have some leftover and now I will attach it together One, two, three. 
I go on the side like this and do another one and then I will come here same thing grab two like this and count again one two three make sure you you grab the two two ply this one and this one I know my English is not perfect but at least I try so sorry if I make a lot of mistake but I try Touch it again and again to make sure it stayed together. I will add the yarn between the two layers. go and instead I will push that inside that's it and now I pull yes this is gonna be better Pull, pull 
Purple. done there one two three four five six. inside I will pull on my yarn Purple again. So purple, purple. One, two, three, four, five. Very tight here. That's okay. And I will. Get back here and do a double knot. for the feet now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. It's too bad I'm gonna lose the blue. I like the blue.
put that inside. to do so the body is done here the body is done now it's the time for the head I will remove the white so you will see better for this part We'll close the tube. there's a big hole here but it's okay it's gonna go inside I will join the other side be careful not happen like this if it's happened remove it you really have to go and reach the other side correctly like when we do a hat this I will do that again to make the head of my uh, little doll I'll take it like this every two
and again. back with the hat and with the hat I will do a knot instead if I have enough I don't I will try mmm doesn't work like I want to but I don't know it's okay it's work I will do that I will close the uh, not close but the hide the yarn first not like So for this project you don't need any crochet uh, ability not crochet but hook you don't need to know how to hook make sure you grab the head and the hat
don't go too tight for the first one, but the second one you go tight. important to be sure that it's tight enough because you don't want your your kids playing with that and it's broken in his end it's gonna be a crying time for sure so always be careful when you do something for kids so voila it's terminated it's done if you want to put a little face on it it's up to you me I choose not to maybe I will change later because my little one will ask for one. <laughs> but for now, I think it's gonna be okay like this. So I give you some pictures and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on the little bell. Ciao, ciao.